In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Yuta Watanabe, who just got a full-time contract in the NBA with the Toronto Raptors, so congratulations to him. But today, we're going to be breaking down how he shoots the ball. If you don't already know who he is, he is a Japanese basketball player who plays in the NBA for the Toronto Raptors. Okay, so in this clip, he gets a dribble handoff, essentially. And, of course, what do we want to really look at? Well, the first thing we want to look at is his base. And his base, his feet are roughly shoulder-width apart, and he is up onto his heels to be able to get a quick initiation of a jump up into the air. Your calves, as you may already know if you've been watching a lot of my videos, are fast twitch muscles, and they can get you up into the air quite quickly. We do notice that he is pretty squared towards the basket but just like many left-handed shooters he does tilt away from the rim and he does tilt even more to be able to get lined up with the basket so the first thing that I do want to point out is that his knee is technically crossed his left knee comes in which means that his left knee is actually pointing away from the rim but his right knee is pointing towards the rim this doesn't necessarily mean all that much it just means to me that he is using more of the outside muscle on his left leg. Some trainers may say that it is a potential sign for injury into the future, but I don't really subscribe to that fact. He then has nice energy transfer up into his shot. He actually is still into his set point when he is in the air. He has a two motion shot which allows him to get usually more power into his shot, not necessarily all the time. And he does tend to have his body roll towards the right, his left side rolling towards the right. Now, why is this important? Well, we do see that his shoulder is in line with his elbow towards the rim. However, when he goes up into his set point, which he gathers that ball from his roughly his hips up into his set point, his set point being on the left side of his forehead just above, having his shoulder and elbow in line with the basketball net, and of course that ball being in line with his upper arm, which makes that shooting triangle that I always, always, always talk about. And then, he does not have a thumb flick. I know there are some people online saying that he does, but that is not a thumb flick. His palm is not facing the rim. It's just that his thumb is the last point of contact on that ball he does release with his middle as well as his pointer finger at the same exact time and he does have that roll towards the right now with his release he does have his elbow above his forehead which is going to give him a lot of arc which is nice to see and he does have a nice pull-up game we can see that he is pretty well square on the pull-up however he does twist, like I was mentioning before, towards that right side, which allows him to get his arm in line with the basketball net. Now, in his set point, he does have a 45 degree angle on his elbow, and he has a beautiful, I'm going to call it a soft release, mainly because, even though it looks hard, he tends to pull back quickly, which does allow it to be a soft release. Now, a soft release will usually give you more arc while a hard release gives you more backspin on that ball. So this may be a slight hybrid between the two. And then when he catches it off of a pass he tends to go one two with his feet towards the rim and then he has that nice inline shot he still jumps forward and he does roll towards the left side. Here he does keep his release higher for longer, which is for sure a good thing, but usually from the three-point line you don't want to pull back too early. For him pulling up in the key like I showed earlier, it's probably because he wanted to take some power off of his shot. I do want to also point out, after he catches that ball right there, he's looking at the rim the whole time. And of course, when he kicks that left foot down, that's to build power onto his shot so that he can get it up quickly. Now he does have that two motion shot which is fine 
everyone's going to shoot differently. That's why we are doing these videos. But I just really want to point out how good of a shooting form he has. Many left-handed players will have a tilt the whole way. He does have a tilt the whole way when he has a catch and shot type of opportunity. But if it's a dribble drive, he tends to line up his body squared and then he turns in the air. Now for a catch and shoot off of a pass... He does tend to jump quite far into the air. He jumps from here all the way to there. And again, let's watch the actual release. So his left foot is on the side of that line. And then to essentially jump past that line with the left foot does tell me that he is turning in the air. Now you generally want to have the least amount of turn and movement on your shot however for somebody to shoot as consistently as Yuta Watanabe I would not be changing his form whatsoever I personally think he is going to be a fantastic NBA player and I have a lot of hope for him I really do hope that the Toronto Raptors keep him in the upcoming seasons into the future because I really think that he could be a massive impact player whether it be off the bench or in a starting role when some of the starters get injured but overall I think that he has a fantastic opportunity with the Raptors and I think that of course he is the future of or at least one of the futures of Japanese basketball Rui Hachimera is another really good player we will be breaking down in the future I'll see you guys again next time I hope that this has helped all of you left-handed shooters shoot the ball better